What is awakening? Well, according to Doflamingo, awakening is the ability to evolve past the limitations of standard use. He also states that one isn't only able to affect their body, but also their surroundings. We have two instances of confirmed awakenings. One being Doflamingo and the other which were the Impelled Down Jailer Beast. From what we know, these two awakenings had different outcomes. With Doflamingo, his strings affected the buildings and his surroundings, while the Zoan Jailer Beast had a boost of durability, strength, and stamina. Now with this, theorists have based future awakenings on this information which makes sense but severely limits creativity. For instance, Luffy. Some predict Luffy's awakening to be the ability to create trampolines anywhere he feels like it, even on someone's body. How is that useful? We also have some hints of possible awakenings which goes back to a lot early in the story with Crocodile. Crocodile states that he had honed his devil fruits to perfection and based on what Doflamingo stated, that could only mean awakening. Other characters that have been speculated to be awakened are Magellan with his Kinjite which forms the venom demon Hell's Judgment. Anel is another that people felt was awakened due to his 200 million volts Amaru form. Other characters based off speculation include Kaido due to his probable immortality. Sakazuki and Kuzan due to permanently altering the landscape of Punk Hazard. Also Whitebeard, well, because he's Whitebeard. Monster Point Chopper is also mentioned as an awakening due to the fact that he seemed unconscious as the impelled down zone guards. The Rumble Ball or something similar could be something that was already created and was used to force the guards to awaken. So let's recap the way awakenings seem to work. Zoan, increased strength, durability, and stamina. Aramisia. The ability to affect the surroundings the way the Logias can. Logias, the way to permanently alter the landscape. Remember before when I said this is great? But thinking the powers will follow the status quo will limit creativity. Well, it's time to deviate. While Logias will have the ability to permanently alter the landscape, that will not be their awakening. First, let me explain what I believe awakening is. Awakening is perfecting your fruit while also awakening the devil within your fruit. Another hint could be that Luffy's fruit is based off of the Yubari King fruit. His devil could be the Monkey King, which is Son Wukong. I mean, this may not be the case, but I'll explain this further in a Luffy Awakening video. The examples of an awakened devil within their fruit are Magellan and Enel. While I believe they could have more to their fruits, they have connected to their devil fruits to the point where they are able to call forth their fruit's devil that resides within. I also believe the process of awakening has steps to be fully awakened. Let's use Doflamingo as an example. First. The ability to creatively alter the fruit. We see this with overheat, where strings are condensed and released almost as a flame rope. Next, the ability to affect your surroundings. This is done by All White and the Birdcage. I believe the Birdcage had to be unlocked before All White. Third, unlocking the devil within your fruit. No Flamingo calls himself the Heavenly Demon, so therefore the demon within his fruit, which is essentially a puppeteer fruit, would be himself, which we see with his clone. Finally, the ability to affect your own body, internally. This is seen when Doflamingo uses his fruit to repair his insides. I also think this requires a certain amount of will to complete, so the awakened users will more than likely have King's Haki. With King's Haki, you have the will to bring out the most out of your devil fruit. Contrary to belief, awakening will not be something every devil fruit user can accomplish. We see with All White, Doflamingo had to infuse the ground with something. I believe this is a mixture of his fruit, Armin Haki, and King's Haki to bend the surroundings to his whim. We saw this as a hint when Luffy was able to alter his particular arm and haki to make it rubbery. Could this be why Jack is called the drought because he is able to affect his surroundings in a way comparable to Crocodile? The Zorn users will have increased durability, strength, and stamina, but will also affect their surroundings if they are awakened. That's why all the calamities of Kaido are awakened because of their effect on the landscape is where they receive their moniker. Logia will also have to go through this process, but their awakening will include altering their element to a higher form. Their awakening will be able to combat a devil fruit that would normally be superior, but will be a natural countermeasure. Once you have unlocked a way to counter a fruit that is deemed superior, your fruit will be awakened. That is why Aokiji was able to fight on par with the Kainu for 10 days. In conclusion, every user's awakening will be different and based on the way their fruit is made up and also the devil within their fruit. Let me know your thoughts on this theory. Yeah.